Once again, this is Jason Matthews, your financial uh, guru. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about whole life and IUL, aka Index Universal Life. Uh, but before we get started today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right now, I'm hearing more and more people are getting uh, contacted into uh, more and more insurance agents to say, hey, Jason, uh, or by the insurance agent say, hey, you should put money into a whole life or index universal life. I really don't understand the difference, um, can, I, but they tell me I should do it. Can you explain the difference? So both of these policies are cash value life insurance, and they should they do play a, a, a an important role for people with their tax-free bucket. Oftentimes, I recommend it for people when they're saving for college, they try to put more money in the money into it in a Roth IRA, um, or they don't qualify for a Roth IRA, either they're trying to put more money than the income limits of $5,500 away, or they make over the threshold of how much you can make. I believe this year, if you're single, over $118,000. If you're a couple, it'll be over $180,000. So with whole life, and those are just a few examples of why I use it. So for the cash value life insurance policy, there's pretty much two policies. We have our traditional whole life. And traditional whole life now been around for hundreds of, for hundreds of years, and is most probably the most legendary type of life insurance. With a whole life is guaranteed, and what I mean by guaranteed that that money's going to last you. That policy would never lapse. That means from now till you're 121 years old, that policy is going to be in force. Number two, the growth of that policy. Now, if you have any more questions before I talk about the growth. Make sure you watch our other videos about life insurance. You can just look at it in the box right above about this. But the growth of it is based off of interest rates and the performance of the company. So insurance companies give what they call dividends on whole life policies. And it's important to get a whole life policy from a mutually owned company, a New York Life, a Northwestern, a Mass Mutual, a Penn Mutual. And you want to make sure that you have a good, strong company and they're, the, how much growth they give you on that account is solely based off the interest rates. And so that's very important to know. And the last thing is a fixed price. You pay, pay $500 a day, you're going to pay $500 20 or 30 years ago, and you have to keep paying those premiums for that amount of period. Now, the good thing about whole life and IUO is the money that grows in it, it grows tax deferred, but more importantly, it will pull out tax free for both of these. Now, when we talk about IUL or Index Universal Life, they've been having get more and more popularity over the last 20 or 30 years. So here's a couple of reasons why. So you have a potential of more growth than a whole life. Why? Because instead of it being based off of interest rates and having guarantees, it is based off of the markets. And what, but most of them, they use the S&P 500 or different markets to that you have potential more growth on. The second thing is, though, you do have a potential to lapse. You're like, Jason... I have potential for more growth, but I have potential to lapse. How is that? Because it gives you a flex flexibility. So with a whole life, if they tell you pay $500 a month, you're paying $500 a month. With the index universal life, if you're paying 500 bucks, bucks a month right now, and let's say you have a seasonal job, let's say you get laid off next year, instead of paying $500 a month, you could drop it down to $100 a month. Now the, downs the good thing is, you still have the protection of it. But the downside is that this policy might not last forever if you pay $100 a month, and you might have to increase it back to $500. So you want to make sure you're funding it correctly with it. Now, the growth of it is based off of not by interest rates or performance of company, but of the markets. If the market's doing great and you're knocking the ball out of the park, you're going to get some type of cap or growth on the, onto a certain limit. And that's the advantage of an index universal life. So if you're a person who has a stable job, you're going to be there for 20, 30 years, you want some guarantees, you look at a whole life. If you're a person who has a seasonal job, your job fluctuates, your prices go up and down, your income due, you're worried about it, you might want to look at an IUO or an index universal life. If you have any more questions, give us a call, 510-229-7608, or email us at matthewsfinancial at gmail.com. Have a great day. Talk to you later.